So in this video, I'm going to walk you through my normal morning routine. And this happens five out of the seven days at a minimum every single week. And that morning routine actually starts the night before. So right now it is 9.05 p.m. It's on a Sunday evening and I do some things to prepare and prep for the next morning. I wake up at 5 a.m. during the week to get ready and I'll walk you through every step that happens. But before we do, I'm gonna walk you through what I do the night prior to prepare and set myself up for success the next morning. So let's knock that out before we go to sleep. Now, nothing too crazy, but this is what happens the night before the morning. So I fill up my water heater so that as soon as I wake up, come out here, I can press on and then coffee, wait for that to heat up. As that heats up, I can put the filter in, I almost forgot, the filter in the Chemex, and then I can add the ground up coffee, this is just some coffee that I get from HEB. And then I can make my coffee and take the next steps required. But I wanted to show you, this happens the night before. Every morning I wake up at 5 a.m. sharp. My alarm goes off and I literally spring out of bed. I've always been a morning person, but I do believe the military heavily influenced my ease to rise. My time in the army also provided me the ability to fall asleep just about anywhere and learn how to operate on a few hours of rest. But I do love and appreciate a solid night's sleep. The first thing I do is throw on some clothes and head to the kitchen to brew a fresh Chemex of coffee. The same coffee I prepped the night prior. This is a staple in my morning routine, not necessarily for the caffeine, but to get some things moving before heading out for a morning run. Any runner will tell you that every good run starts with a solid bowel movement. I then conduct some myofascial release on the bottom of my foot with a frozen lacrosse ball. This helps release the tight and contracted muscles on my feet, which improves blood circulation and allows me to really activate those foot muscles on my run. My morning routine is essentially a one hour long pre-run ritual performing to maximize my physical and mental performance. As I'm finishing up my cup of joe, I open up my Whoop app to analyze the data from the night's sleep. You see, I wear a Whoop band, which tracks my heart rate variability and provides me with a recovery score, sleep analysis, and some really solid objective data, which I can use to make changes to my data to improve my recovery performance. I also like to use this time to listen to an audiobook or tune into a podcast. I'm currently listening to What Got You Here Won't Get You There by Marshall Goldsmith. Not only does this provide me with some really good substance to kick off the morning, but typically sparks some very creative thoughts on my morning run filled with solitude. Now, this is when the coffee does its magic. Yeah. Well, here we are. Next step of the morning routine is I have to go to the bathroom. Number two, especially before going on my run. If you're a runner, you know that if you don't go to the bathroom in the morning before you go on that run, things just feel, they feel off. So today is another successful day. 
we've made a bowel movement, letting you guys know, which means now we can get ready to go for the morning run. There we go. Once that is taken care of, I can officially move into run prep. This begins with mixing up two scoops of G1M Sport, which provides me 40 grams of carbohydrates and 700 milligrams of sodium with a full electrolyte profile. I'll need this for my run and especially necessary during the warm summer months here in Texas. This helps with my performance, recovery, and ability to strength train later in the afternoon. I'm really not a fan of training fasted. I will spend the next 10 to 15 minutes conducting some pre-run mobility, active stretching, and hold some light yoga poses. Yes, yoga poses. It's amazing. The focus areas are my shoulders, back, hips, hamstrings, calves, and ankles. And now, the fun begins. It's time to run. You see, morning runs for me started as a necessary part of training for endurance events, Ironman triathlons, and marathons, but now have become a staple in my routine for so much more. The solitude that running provides me allows me to clear my mind, dissect problems I'm currently experiencing, and think creatively to plan from a 10,000 foot view for the future of BPN. It is my personal form of meditation and fuels me in so many ways. Beautiful way to end seven miles right up a hill. Now, it is humid this morning, and you may be asking yourself, well, how humid is it? And there's really only one way to tell. The true test is right here, is what I like to call the sock test. So, socks are off. Humidity in, humidity out. That's a good run. I definitely felt that on. First thing that I do as soon as I get back from my run is I'm gonna get a bunch of nutrients in. So I'm gonna fill a shaker bottle with about 15 to 20 ounces of water. And in that, I'm gonna put one scoop of strong reds. I'm gonna do one scoop of strong greens, this is the pineapple coconut, and mix those two together. And I'm gonna wash down my multivitamin, strong multivitamin, and some joint support, which is strong joints. It's the first thing I do as soon as I'm done with my run. Now immediately after drinking my greens, reds, and washing down my strong multi and strong joints, I have breakfast. And lately, it's been this power bowl right here. It changes up, but recently in the last couple of weeks, I've been loving this. So what I mix up is all this stuff. I start with two scoops of protein. I'll either do whey protein or our vegan protein. I add a tablespoon of cacao powder. I add a tablespoon of flaxseed, tablespoon of wheat bran, and then I add some almond milk and I mix it up into a sludge. And then I top it with a banana, cacao nibs, and unsweetened coconut flakes, and it comes out looking like this. Sometimes I'll throw some nut butter on here as well. Actually, I'm probably gonna throw some nut butter, some peanut butter or some almond butter to top it off, and that is the post-run nutrition. So that's it. That is my morning routine. I am now heading into the office and I try to get to work at 8 a.m. every morning. So that's where I'm heading to right now. The morning starts at 5 a.m. and within three hours we get a lot done and we get to work. So thanks for watching. 
See you guys in the next video. Well, 